Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. December 25th, 2020, last run of 2020. If I had a tummy tuck, I would not have this wrinkly, like from having babies. Okay. Don't take that what out. Those it? are Halloween decorations. Oh, you bought it? Yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. I thought that was like old or something. I was like, what? I never seen it. Why the start boxes that you packing. So Where's the boxes that we put them in? Are you guys gonna be okay to get rid of these huge stuffed animals? No. You don't play with them anymore. Get rid of them while she's at school one day. Is that awful? Like Barney, really? I'm gonna put the shoes yeah. in here. Hey, cutie. Hey. 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 You're so sweet. Do you know how sweet you are? He's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. Can't get over him. <laughs> Thank you. I'm making a YouTube video. Thank you. Look when I let him go. He doesn't he doesn't stop. You're so crazy. You're so you're so crazy. Bye. You're so Don't look right now. Don't look right now. These are my Saint Laurent boots. So pretty. So cool. And then I have the Zara version as well that I really like. In suede, I've had these for years. And I actually think that's the only pair of Zara shoes I've ever bought, ever. These are Rag and Bone, the Rag and Bone Newberry boots. These are 
so, so popular years ago. I never wear them anymore, but I still like them. Um, so I'm definitely still gonna keep them because... They're really cute. <laughs> uh, I definitely will wear them at some point, but right now it's just like this whole vibe is just very, very played out. I just think they're like very over. So those are the kind of things I'm packing. Things that like I'm keeping, but not wearing right now because I still have two and a half months here in this house and of winter so I'm not gonna pack these functional Uggs I mean they're not so crazy stylish or anything but when you live in Toronto and it's snowing these definitely come in handy so I'm not packing stuff like this where'd you find that in that box and I also found this so cute I got a lot of things from the bedroom. Tukies. Thank you. Oh, no, these are shoes he still wears. It was there. Go in bring the me sandals and stuff. That's what I need. Okay. Thank you. I brought you also these. Nice. You want to put those in Daddy's box? Yeah. Thanks. As a Canadian, I thought I could never have this until I went to the States and went to Trader Joe's, but there's everything but the bagel clubhouse in the seasoning section of Costco. And this is just like a good snack and I do it on um, bell peppers as well. Oh my God, cream cheese. Should I pick? Got it. Good, and you did it twice. Cause you did it. Does your character wear glasses? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Does your character wear glasses? No. Uh, is your character a girl? No. Okay. Is your character Ben? Yes. Woo! We won! <laughs> that was so fast. Let's that was the again. fastest ever. Let's say it again. Okay, let's play again. Ben! You guys gotta try this, okay? You bake cookies. These are chocolate chip. Doesn't matter what kind. You bake cookies. After the cookies are baked, you put raw marshmallows on top and then put it back in the oven on broil for like two minutes. You have to watch it because it crisps up and it can burn in like two seconds. It is so, so good. Oh my God. How many? Did you put seven candles? Okay, guys, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you, Wish. Her wish is for coronavirus. That's a good wish. Everybody's it. That's a great wish. Mud cake. I'm gonna bring you guys treats. Yay! Can we have a mud cake too? Yeah. Oh, everyone likes five surprises. Yes! I've been feeling overwhelmed lately, but today I feel especially overwhelmed. I have so much to do in this house. I have videos to edit. I have kids to take care of. I have dinner to cook. Estee Lauder Micro Essence. Micro Essence, so um, I always put it on my skin after I wash, so it just keeps your face hydrated. You should never put serum on like bone dry skin, right? It's daytime, but I'm just gonna use this. It's Advanced Night Repair Serum, Estee Lauder. 
Um, these are not big problems in life, you know, being overwhelmed about moving. I'm so, so grateful and really looking forward to, you know, the end result, but it just feels really unorganized right now, which makes me feel like I'm in a slight state of chaos. It just feels anxiety provoking for me right now. It feels overwhelming is really what I can say. It's almost done. Um, this is Verify. It's a serum. It's all natural plant-based facial serum and it's called Power Trip. It's a Canadian company. Um, I met these girls at an event, the Verify girls, and uh, they are like scientists. They're like STEM students that started this amazing all natural skincare product line called Verify. Everything is unscented and everything feels really, really good. I just, I always wait like a few minutes in between each layer. <clears throat> Don't you wish you could just add several hours onto your days? It's crazy because you know, you want the day to be over. You want to be able to sit and relax. And I just lately can't feel relaxed. I feel like I need to finish, I need to do, I need to, you know, these videos, it's just crazy, you know. I have a lot of I have a lot of amazing subscribers and a lot of love and support, but it's just crazy, like people really I get hate for doing like doing sponsored content. Like I these videos are so much work. It's not just filming a video, like you film it and you edit it, and the editing process can take a really long time. And then it's not even over after that. Like you have to upload it, make a thumbnail, which takes so annoyingly long. You have to tag your videos. You have to optimize your video for like search engine optimization. I love doing it, but like it's, I just find it very bizarre that people have a problem with this. I just put some <laughs> eye cream on my ring fingers. This is how I do it, you know? There's no right or wrong way unless you're like vigorously doing it. Um, this is Aluma by, it's a brightening eye cream by Image Skincare. I love your comments, even if you don't think that the style that I'm wearing is a style that you would wear. I can totally appreciate that. I just hate when people are just, and this is, this is not often, but they're all, you do get those trolls that come and they're like, just leave like disgusting comments. Like, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. Why am I even talking about this? I'm gonna use It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Confidence in a Cream. For all skin types, transforming moisturizing super cream, anti-aging armor, regenerative concentrate. Uh, I wanna tell you that I absolutely love this product. I wouldn't actually assume by the texture of it that it's for all skin types because it's so rich and so moisturizing that I wouldn't think that it's for like oily skin. I would think it's more for like combination or dry skin because it's extremely rich. Uh, my hands are clean. And I usually don't double dip with the same finger. Oh man, I love this cream. And do you know what this cream smells like? It smells like a facial. It smells like when you get a facial and it's got that spa smell, like not eucalyptus, but maybe like slightly. Yeah, kind of like very, very mild eucalyptus. And, um, before I go out, I will definitely put on an SPF, like probably 30 minutes before I go out. But right now I have so many things to do in my basement. So I'm just gonna let this moisturizer um, absorb and then um, I'll use my SPF before I go out. Yeah, a lot of things to do today. So yalla, let's start. So I just walked downstairs to this. Like this is, why I feel so overwhelmed right now. Like I have to just go through absolutely 
everything. I just, I just, oh my God. Like this was all, this is not stuff that's packed. This is stuff that I need to go through to see if it's worth packing or donating. Well. I just posted on my Instagram stories about this product coat. So, if you follow me on Instagram, you were, would have already seen it before this vlog goes up. So yeah, beautiful coat, beautiful coat. I guess I'll try it on, honestly. I know you're gonna ask, so I'm just gonna... I was like, ugh, do I have to try it on? Yeah, I guess I do, okay. actually this coat is stunning I uh if I don't sell it I I'll just keep it it's fine probably should keep it do you do that when you're like going to like get rid of something and then you try it on you're like hmm maybe I should keep it but then you still never wear it so there's no point I just, I gotta, I gotta downsize everything. It's just, it's too much. It's really too much. Pro these Prada's like, what? I don't even, I feel like these are like high school era where I thought like a wedged, or like, I, th I feel like I got these right after high school or something where I thought, oh my God, I am so cool. I'm in Prada and a wedged flip flop, no less. Like, whoa, like I can't even try and sell these because I don't know, I, I think they are not attractive. I mean, maybe on someone they'd suit so much more than me, but on me, I feel like they're so unattractive. So I just like, uh, what, what would you even sell these for? Like 50 bucks? Oh my God, if you're interested, girl, holler at me. But you know, after I slander my own items, <sighs> maybe. What I'm doing right now is I'm separating all my jeans. I gotta do this with shoes too. Like half of these shoes I don't even wear. I just leave them there. Um, so I have three piles. So this pile over here are jeans that I don't wear anymore really, but I don't wanna get rid of because I've done this too many times where I get rid of clothes and then I regret it. So what I'm doing now excuse the balagan so I'm putting the clothes that like I just don't wear anymore but I I'm just not interested in really getting rid of my stuff anymore because they're all good pieces and just basics and just even if they're fashion items they're things that I will one day wear it's a disaster okay look there's more there we're starting to get organized here and by organized I mean like this has always been the bane of my existence. This is my closet. I don't share it with my husband. I just have too much. So it's gonna be, it's just gonna be so much more organized in my new home. So anyways, yeah, so these are the jeans I'm just putting away. And these are my cropped jeans that I typically wear in spring and summer. And then these are just like my jeans. I know it's a lot, it is a lot, but I wear all of it. And you know, what I do is in the fashion industry. So. Um, I do have a lot because I do stay up to date on trends and I wear them. I really do wear them. So we're just getting started here with the organization. Wow, this is tight, man. I love this idea. It's like I'm archiving my clothing, you know? 
because oftentimes I'll think about something that I got rid of maybe two years ago and I'll think like, oh, why did I do that, you know? So I don't wanna do that anymore. And so what I'm doing is I'm putting everything in those boxes and then I'm, I, I make like, I put a sheet of paper and I tape it to the box or I put it on top so that I can see. And it says like skinny jeans, long sleeve shirt, long sleeve cotton shirts, like stuff like that, just so that I know exactly what will be in that box. And I've already done this, like I have three boxes, no, maybe two or three boxes downstairs. I have one for winter coats that I just really like that I've had since maybe even like close to high school age that I just think are still cool and very good condition, good quality. So I haven't gotten rid of them all these years. So there's no point in donating them now. I'd rather just keep them. Maybe I'll wear them again one day. So that's kind of what I'm doing with all my clothes now. By the way, yes, this is a scar on my stomach. And oh, I've been meaning to talk to you guys about um, the scars that I have and just these interesting body issues I have and structural body issues that I have, which are not big issues in the grand scheme of things, but just things that I've had since I was a kid. This scar was not. This scar is from a seroma that I developed. It's kind of a long story. I don't know if you don't know what a seroma is. I will definitely talk about it with you guys in a in another video. I just I need to like sit down and explain everything. I also have a congenital birth defect. Um, I've touched on that before. I don't know. I just need the time, you know, to sit down and talk about it because when I'm making a sit down video with you guys, I really want to talk about things in fashion or things out of fashion or you know, something beauty, something, something that is just like way more interesting than me and my body, you know? Anyways, I can tell you one thing though, which I do want to say about my body is that someone on Instagram once commented, like, it, I think it was a photo. I was in a bathing suit and someone's like, wow, nice tummy tuck or something. I did not have a tummy tuck. If I had a tummy tuck, I would not have this wrinkly, like from having babies, okay? And I know it's not like, it's not a big deal. I am so, so happy and grateful and thankful, but I have a, like I have wrinkling on my stomach, which is something that you don't have when you have a tummy tuck. So the scars are, the scars are from like routine procedure where I developed a seroma after, and then I had to go back and have additional surgery. And that's why I have like kind of like a messed up a, a scar and a belly button that has been cut. It's really upsetting. Um, but again, that's for another day. This is not a tummy tuck. This has always been my slimmest area. This has always been my slimmest area. I am like, I, 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 just, I carry my weight here and here. Like it's just what it is. I it just, it's really upsetting to me that I have these scars on the part of my body that's always been kind of like the best part of my body. And that is just, that's just something I have to accept and live with. But no, this was not a tummy tuck. So that, I just want to get out of the way. Okay. Chanel brooch and then what I want to do with this blazer this cropped like tuxedo blazer which I think is so cool I want to cut the sleeves till here like cut the sleeves off here and then have these buttons sewn up oh I'm so gonna do that oh. and like just get a ruffly like this is not meant to be worn like this but I just like, I'm feeling kind of inspired right now, going through my wardrobe, thinking about, and I'd have to like break it up on the bottom, like not wear black or white at the bottom, like jeans, maybe like, maybe even rip jeans, like super cash and then super, like, I don't know, you know, make, I'll make it work though.
I have a question to the moms out there that have it together, the working moms that work during the day but still have to do their mom duties for their kids and then, you know, do things for the family like let's say cook dinner or something like, how do you have the time? I've been working all day, all day. Now I'm going to school pickup. From school pickup, I'm going to take my daughter to the dentist and then I have to make tomato soup, which is not a big deal. But it's just, she gets out late. She gets out at like four. The dentist appointment's gonna be like an hour, so that'll be till five. I'll get home at let's say like close to 5.30 and then it's gotta be ready at like a reasonable time. And I just don't know how some of these working moms do it. Just really stresses me out and I've been trying to make this tomato soup for three days three days I've been trying to make it but like every day there's some there's a reason why I can't cook a dinner like yesterday my sink literally exploded like the water was coming up from the sink from the island and that like the main sink so disgusting so I had to call a plumber and I like I couldn't possibly cook in the kitchen when the sink is like overflowing just like absolutely disgusting oh the night before that I went I had a meeting in the evening to go meet with someone um, a furniture designer because for my new house I'm getting all new furniture pretty much I'm just changing the whole look of the house it's gonna be just so different from what I have now. There's gonna be like a couple pieces that I keep, um, but other than that, like all the family room furniture is going, well, it's probably just gonna to go to the basement. Um, all my bedroom furniture, which I absolutely can't stand, um, I just absolutely, it's not my taste, it's not my style. It's not that there's anything wrong with it, I just can't stand it. I'm getting, uh, doing just a whole new bedroom. Yeah, so, sorry, off topic. So I'm, I'm sorry, is that, how's the lighting? So I, uh, I had a meeting at, to go over like the measurements and uh, pick the fabric and pick the dimensions of the bed. And I need an ottoman and two chairs and uh, all this stuff. I wanted it all custom. And so I couldn't, I had to like, that was like at five o'clock and that was like over an hour. So I couldn't make a proper dinner that night. No, but tonight I don't care. I'm, I'm cooking this dinner and you know, I actually cook every night. I cook every night except Friday on the weekends. Um, and then non COVID, usually I don't cook weekends at all. Cause usually Saturday we go out for dinner, but since COVID I actually love cooking on Saturday night. That's actually the best meal of the week. Um, because it's like family movie night and I do like, we do like, really amazing dinners like amazing dinners amazing sides and it's just like a it's fun it's fun for me to do so yeah I have mom guilt when I can't I can't get it all together like when I'm having a week where I just constantly am trying to catch up I just don't know how people do it there aren't enough hours in the day there just aren't enough hours oh really where do I put it Those ones better? Yeah. He has tutor in a few yeah. minutes, so can you get him set up? Sweetie, I don't have any food for you right now. Let's 
one needs more cooking. This one needs more time. Should I make grilled cheese on regular bread or on baguette bread with this? Baguette bread. You want baguette bread? Oh, what's, what's baguette bread? Baguette bread is the, like, if you open the freezer, you'll see it. Mm -hmm. Fresh grated parm. I'm going to put some in. I'm going to more in. This mini. Can you turn on the light? It's so dark. Soup. I've never made pumpkin soup. They had to eat separately tonight because they had tutors, so they had their Zoom tutor session and did you, eating did you dinner feel separately. Cool eat? No, I didn't. I just What's that cheese? Had a feeling that you would like it. Um, you can sprinkle a little more cheese onto your soup if you want. That's so tea. Hi, Dave. Send it. Okay. <laughs> Send it. Is it nice? Uh -huh. Or not really? There's people. Okay, we'll get another one. We'll get some more out. Yeah, we'll get lots of things. We'll do them when we come back. We'll take it from there, okay? Yeah, I'll just send them all of them. Can you take it from there? Okay. Oh my gosh, it's yeah. so beautiful here. Yeah. The one you wanted, I guess. It doesn't matter to me, honestly. I, I'm good anyway. I'm honestly good. But I don't know if you put your name down. We're getting strong. Hey, Cole. 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 Hey, Yeah. You should show them the, the back. I think it's everything's empty right now, but I think it's a clear name on it, I think. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Um, yeah, you do. What do you mean? Oh, they just say you want to eat now. I don't think that's how it works. Hey, is mommy a star? <laughs> no. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I should say, is mommy a rock star? I'd say, no, she's just a star. <laughs> <laughs> she's your star. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Just when it's dirty. I didn't. 
Slow, she can handle it. Thanks, Coco. Nice Such job. a good brother. Sweetheart. Thank you so much. I didn't want to show her face just in case she didn't like it. That's good. That's respectful. So you're all dark because the ski hill is behind you. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good vibe. Just watch your hand. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. Thanks.
excellent. Good job, bye. Literally ski in, ski out. <laughs> she skied right up to the door. Do you need help, Vi? Think you can get your skis off? <laughs> it's a blizzard, a literal blizzard. It's pouring snow. <laughs> Ooh. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. December 25th, 2020. Last run of 2020.